right, friends, as promised, we have our reefstogo.com order. Just wanted to kind of show everything since I hadn't seen anything at all about from Reefs to Go on YouTube or any videos. Uh, this was shipped to me. I got the confirmation yesterday from Florida. So 12 hours it got here. Uh, this was actually, I called in last night as soon as I got the info and I asked them to keep it at the UPS location. It's right down the street so I figured save, uh, save the guys a couple hours. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open. Alrighty, so this is what I get when I crack it open. Looks like we got a little mini acclimation kit. Um, we have our snail shells. I have a uh, full list of what was ordered. By the way, if it's worth noting or not, it's not all for me. It's, uh, it was a club buy, but I'm the one that orchestrated it. So, and uh, looks like most everything we ordered made it, uh, except see the cleaner shrimps but everything else and there's just a little bit of info about the 14 day guarantee so anyway I'm gonna get to uh, what's in here right now I'm very anxious and excited all right this is what everything looks like upon first cracking of the box uh, off the bat I don't smell any problems everything smells you know just completely fine uh, maybe if I had something to comment about, there's very little water in these bags. Um, hermits and stuff will do fine. There's, uh, I think that's a shipment of hermits, or, yep, that's hermits. I see one dead in there already, uh, that came out of its shell. Um, but, you know, for the most part, looks like everything is kind of annoyingly named. I don't know what, I'll have to look up the, uh, product codes, but, uh, let me go ahead and start getting everything in the sump here. So some of these guys do have some more water. I think these are, this is probably the bulk uh, peppermint shrimp package. Um, that's what it looks like anyway. Uh, so they, they have a decent amount of water. I have some eels floating in there too. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to move a little bit fast because I have people wanting to come pick stuff up. So maybe maybe the fish do have a little bit more. Uh, going for them. Alright, this is the first really disappointing thing. Um, this is a powder blue. I don't know if they ship poorly or what, but I mean he is almost stark white. So we're gonna work on coloring him up. He's not too small. It said he was gonna be small, but he's not as small as I was expecting. But I mean, I'll get, uh, once the lights come on in the tank, of course, once everything's acclimated and in there, I'll get some uh, video, but he is really, really white. Kind of, uh, kind of disappointing. I'm still working through the stock list, but that's the Mandarin we got. I think he's pretty. He's not terribly tiny. I heard people complaining that they were getting really, really small fish. Um, I don't know. I mean, the listing says two inches, and I definitely say that's two inches plus. So he looks good. I just. I know I've read a lot of people complaining about Mandarin, so that's kind of why I wanted to comment about this guy. Okay, here's a really good example of something ultra tiny. Actually, that looks bigger on camera than it really is. It's about as thin as a, as a, as definitely thinner than a crochet needle. This is a, the, a black hyphen goby, and he is pretty dang small. Here's what a shipment of their zoanthids look like. I think this is what they call raspberry cream. Sorry, the lighting's kind of tough to get. Although there's not much to see. There's a lot of sediment and stuff in the bag. Uh, I imagine that's because they probably just clipped this uh, rock right off of, uh, you know, wherever their colony is and tossed it in it. Uh, okay, so the small cleaner shrimp made it. It looks like I read that wrong. Um, it's the large cleaner shrimps that didn't make it, so the tiny one made it. He looks uh, like he's doing okay, too. Ooh, Sarath snails are real tiny. They're just tiny little little flecks there. There's supposed to be a hundred in there, which uh, I can actually probably believe uh, with how teeny tiny those guys are. So I, I wasn't expecting tiny, tiny, tiny Sarahs like that. Uh, the Sarahs I've seen are phew, at least four times the size of one of these critters. Alrighty, so these are some blue, le <clears throat> blue leg hermits, 
and there's supposed to be 101 in here, which is entirely possible, but it's also supposed to be buy one, get one free, so we should have gotten a ton more. We should have gotten basically, effectively, 202, so time to uh, play the counting game. Okay, so here's everything spread out. Uh, everything's been looked over and all that. There's a bunch of uh, crabs in there. Um, at first glance, it looked like, honestly, I was ready to give them a call, but I'm happy that I didn't kind of jump the gun and, uh, you know, do anything stupid because I would have called complaining, like, you see, I have the blue leg hermit circled there. Um, they split everything into uh, multitudes of bags, for example. Here we have some Tonga snails, and they have them in 20 packs. I don't know if it's easier to count or what. But uh, they weren't necessarily next to each other, so it can get a little tough for you as the receiver, especially if you're doing a group buy kind of thing, to figure out if everything's there. But I kind of tried to group everything and, you know, obviously match the kind of skew things they have with everything. And the cleaner shrimps aren't there, which is fair. I don't know where I put that paper. I'm so well organized. But they said, you know, I showed you guys earlier that, that it said that. Uh, the blue leg hermits are actually in uh, four bags of, like, 50, one apiece. So they gave us a couple extra. I'm not even taping that. Wonderful. Good job. Um, so everything's here. Uh, right now, I am, <clears throat> there's, there's my livestock. I figured I'd show it in my uh, ghetto poor boy stand. Um, but right now, I'm very pleased. Everything's here. Nothing's incredibly tiny. Um, like I said, the only complaint I might have is that uh, things were a little bit cold. Um, but overall, I am really, really impressed. And I think these guys have been given quite a bad rap on Reef Central. Uh, so I wanted to try and, you know, uh, kind of give a fair review. I thought the, the review was extremely fair, um, and and we got everything we bargained for. Really the only thing, that the, the biggest thing that I could complain about, like I already said, was the water quality, or, well, water quality, some of it's a little dirty, but uh, the water heat, and then my powder blue tang is kind of white, but to be honest, after shipping, I've uh, I've kind of seen that at the LFS as well, so, you know, uh, take that with a, with a bit of a grain of salt. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope this, uh, hope this was a, by the way, this was a nearly $600 order. That's after, let's see if we can focus on that. Of course, we're not going to focus. Uh, it was 582.75, there we go, 582.75 is what that reads, and, um, you know, I'll be honest, um, I can't wait to go ahead and order again.